In this lecture, I'll help you learn about Greenfield Analysis method and how to model and solve it using Excel. Greenfield Analysis method is used to determine the optimal location for setting up a new facility in the supply chain provided the demand and location of customers is given. This method is suitable only for situations where the configuration of the rest of the supply chain is fixed. However, this method can be used to determine the optimal location of more than one facility simultaneously. The objective function in this method is to minimize the total weighted distance where demand of the customer is used as weight. The location of new and existing locations is indicated by their latitude and longitude. Hence, in order to calculate the distance between the two locations, I'll use the Haversign formula explained earlier. There is a related method called center of gravity which uses X coordinate and Y coordinate to indicate the locations. However, locations are generally indicated in the industry either by zip code or by latitude and longitude. So, center of gravity method is generally not used in the industry and this is one of the reasons why Greenfield Analysis method is popular in the industry. If you look at the right hand side, this map has been prepared after performing a Greenfield Analysis exercise. The central marker determines the optimal facility location determined by Greenfield Analysis and the smaller markers around it represent the customers to be served by that facility. So let's try and understand Greenfield Analysis method better with the help of a problem. So let's go to the problem statement seat. So the problem statement says that Sudha INC is starting a consumer goods business in United States. They begin by estimating the demand in each of the states in the United States. The demand is given in the table below. Sudha INC wants to set up one distribution center for its business to begin with and have hired Omega supply chain consultants to study the business and make recommendation on where to set up the distribution center. In column A, we have customer ID. In column B, we have the state of the customer. So basically, each state is a customer in this case. In column C and D, we have the latitude and longitude of the customer. And in column E, we have the demand of the customer. Now let's go down to the bottom. So we have total 55 customers in this case. And the total demand is around 955,000 pallets. So I plotted the demand of customers on a map of United States. So states like Texas, Wyoming and Nevada have maximum demand. So basically this is a heat map and the darker the color of the state, the higher is the demand. Let's get straight to the modeling piece now. So let us create a new sheet and let's rename it as model. Let's copy the data from the problem statement sheet and let's paste it here. So the first part of this problem is the decision variable. So in our case, the decision variable will be the latitude and the longitude of the facility. So let's mark it yellow. So this is the latitude and the longitude. The objective function in this case will be to minimize the total weighted distance. So we need to calculate the distance between the state and the distribution center. So we'll write it as distance from DC and let's do a. So in cell F6, I have written the Haversin formula in Excel. So this formula calculates the distance between the DC and the state AK. So let's copy this formula and let's paste it all over. So now we have the distance from the DC in miles. So now let's calculate pallet miles. So pallet miles would be a multiplication of demand and the distance from DC. And we'll again paste it all over. So pallet miles represent the weighted distance for a particular lane. So we'll now add the pallet miles over all the lanes to get the total pallet miles, which will also be our objective function. We'll do a sum and do a total. And let's mark it green. So this is our objective function. 
So now that we have the objective functions, so what are going to be the constraints in the model? So there are no special constraints in the model as such. The only constraints in the model will be related to the possible values that latitude and longitude can take. So now let's load the problem in Excel solver. Let's go to solver. The objective function will be E2. This will be a minimization type of problem as we'll try to minimize the weighted distance. The decision variable will be the latitude and the longitude. The constraint, the first constraint would be the latitude needs to be greater than minus 90 degree. Next constraint would be that the latitude needs to be less than 90 degree. The next constraint would be that longitude needs to be greater than minus 180. Similarly, the longitude needs to be less than 180 degree. So these are the four constraints in the model. If you would have carefully looked at the distance formula, you would have observed that this is a nonlinear function. It is a nonlinear function because it includes functions like square root and sine and cosine. All these functions are nonlinear and hence the distance calculation is also nonlinear. So we'll use the GRG nonlinear solver engine to solve this problem. Before actually solving the problem, let's check the options. In GRG nonlinear, we need to select central because this will give us better result and we need to select use multi start as this will take multiple seed values and will give us a globally optimized solution. So let's press OK and let's now press solve. Let's wait and see what happens. So the model has recommended the optimal latitude and longitude for this problem and the objective function is something like 1 billion pallet miles. Now let's calculate average pallet miles. So we'll divide this by total demand. So the average pallet miles in this case is 1060 miles, which means that every pallet in the network is on an average traveling 1060 miles. So I have plotted the optimal facility location suggested by the model on the map and the yellow marker represents that location. So the model has recommended the distribution center to be set up somewhere in Illinois. This is just an approximate location and now the project team needs to find a suitable location near this approximate location. The project team needs to consider other factors like land and labor availability as well. So as a modeler, always keep in mind that modeling recommendations are very rarely implemented directly out of the model. There will always be some due diligence before model recommendations are implemented. And this is true in this case as well.